to our team coverage with Western Mass News reporter Sarah Grinelli. She joins us live in Holyoke, where thousands of people were left without power because of the heavy wind gusts. Sarah. Chris, I mean, we can still feel the wind right now, but earlier today, about 18,000 customers in Holyoke were without power for a decent amount of time, but crews worked quickly to turn power back on. Heavy winds sent a tree crashing into a transmission line near the Ashley Reservoir in Holyoke on Monday afternoon. It knocked out power to thousands of people, including local businesses like Nick's Nest. We were in the middle of waiting on customers and then boom, just the power went out about quarter to 12. According to Holyoke Gas and Electric, about 18,000 customers lost power. The owner of the restaurant says their power was only out for a short period of time. We had to shut down for only about an hour, so it wasn't bad. The Holyoke Genie's really really good about getting power back up quick to people. So, I mean, we lost an hour of business, but once we opened back up, there was a line down the sidewalk. Another woman we spoke with says she was relieved when her lights came back on. All of a sudden, the power went out, and I was like, oh my goodness, what's going on? Um, and I didn't have Wi-Fi, you know, to call the company or anything to ask what was going on and why it went out but it came on 10 minutes later. Holyoke Gas and Electric tells Western Mass News they sprung into action right away. It happened around 11.45 this morning, and by 12.15, our crews were immediately on the ground a minute after um, we knew about the outage. And by 12.15, 75% of customers were restored. And she says after 1215 about all of their customers, about 18,000 of them, their power was restored. Live in Holyoke, I'm Sarah Grinelli for Western Mass News.